Objective 5 says explain the trend for electronegativity across a period and down a family. Well, this is going to be a whole lot like number 3, ionization energy. It's all about atomic size. And atomic size, uh, atoms get smaller as we go across and bigger as we go down. And smaller atoms have more electrostatic force between the nucleus and the valence electrons because they're closer. And in this case, it's going to be more electrostatic force between the nucleus and the shared electrons. So electronegativity is going to increase as we go across a period. And electronegativity will increase as we go down or decrease as we go down a family. But the important thing to keep in mind here that makes it different from ionization is that we aren't talking about the electrostatic force between the nucleus and the valence electrons. We are talking about the electrostatic force between the shared electrons of a covalent bond. So it's got to be in a molecule that we're talking about, a covalently bonded substance. And ionic doesn't count because in an ionic bond, we call that energy lattice energy. So electronegativity is about the attraction for a shared pair of electrons, but it will have the same trend as ionization energy.